Yo everybody, what's going on? It's your boy Ricky and today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking at some sleepers for the first time in like what's been two years. Um, I've kind of been out of touch with the Madden community in a while and suddenly I kind of want to get back into it, show you guys a couple discount cards that you can use to uh, power up maybe your salary cap team or maybe you're just kind of starting out, you don't have a whole lot of coins and both the players I'm gonna be showing you today, you can actually get for under five grand. I got mine for about uh, 2,500 each. But I know right now their prices are both kind of going back up. But uh, yeah, pretty much what I'm going to show you is two very, very affordable wide receivers that could really up your team for a very discount price. Now the two receivers we're going to be taking a look at today are both 81 overall receivers. One is Marquez Valdez Scandling and Curtis Samuel. They're both team of the week cards. Both, as you can see, are 92 plus speed. One's a 93. And um, Curtis has a way higher jumping they both got the same catch, uh, catch and traffic, both aren't really, you know, that incredible, but the spectacular on Marquez is a lot better. So if we look right here, guys, what we're gonna notice is that Marquez is actually six foot five. He's six five and has a 93 speed. So the main guy we're gonna be focused on today is Marquez, but I kinda wanted to show you two guys because Marquez is more of a, um, I don't know, um, Kelvin Benjamin kind of build where he's taller and he still has the speed. Really, Marquez is the steal here for five grand. 6'5, 93 speed. But um, if you want more of a jump ball kind of guy, Curtis Samuel is also a good luck. He's got 92 speed and an 85 jump. Like I said before, guys, they both got kind of the same catching, but um, they're very similar players and they're both very, very affordable. So let's hop into some gameplay and kind of show these cards off. So guys, we're here in a game, and I'm pretty much going to show you what both these guys are going to do. First off, we're going to start off going vertical. So you can see I got Valdez Scantling lined up on the left, and we got Samuel lined up on the far right. One of them should be able to get some separation. I think Scantling's got a bit more room. I may have overthrown him, but I haven't, and that's the kind of speed you're going to have on your team right there. Literally, one play, just run and go. Um, obviously you play some better guys with better secondaries that have high speeds, you know, you're not going to torch just anybody, but that 93 speed is really going to help you with separation and just kind of torching guys downfield on, you know, just quick vertical plays. All right, guys, now that we got the ball back on offense again, we're still going to try and push vertical, but we are a little short here. So I'm going to audible Samuel to a slant and just kind of, you know, show off his hands a little bit because he does have a little bit of jump. Maybe I'll high point him here. Just, I mean... That's not really the best way to showcase his vertical, I guess. But pretty much the point I'm trying to get across is you're going to get, you know, pretty good play out of him when he's playing the jump ball. Um, as for Valdez, you know, you're really going to torch people vertical downfield. But Samuel, if you ever need a high point, I mean, he's really your guy. He's fast and he's going to get up there too. Again, with the high point, see every single one is pretty much going to go his way. We're going to see if we can punch it in the end zone with him here real quick just to kind of show, you know, He's going to go up against really most of the people you're going to see. Um, if we can just sneak it over here. And there we go again with another high pass. He's just, you know, jumping around and snagging balls in between people. All right, guys, we're going to try and beat them vertical with Samuel this time. Maybe try and get some separation out of him. See what's going on there. The safety's kind of leaning his way, but we're going to hit him short here. And, I mean, that's the kind of speed you're going to get out of him. Uh, now we're going to showcase Scantling underneath a little bit. Like I said, he is taller. So even though his jumping's not really as good as Curtis's, guys, he is 6'5". He's really going to go up and get the ball just about, you know, over anyone that's going to be in that secondary. There's not a whole lot of people that are linebackers or safeties that are, you know, that height that are going to compete with him. Um, so really, if you can just get it to Scantling inside and high point the ball with either of these two players, because like I said, Curtis has that 80-some jump. Uh, Scantling is obviously a lot taller. There's really nobody that's going to go up and break up that pass against him because he's so much taller than everybody else. It's really just all him from there on out. All right, guys, with time almost expiring, we're going to see if we can get one more big vertical play out of either of these two. It looks like we got Valdez down the left. And like I said, guys, that speed is going to torch pretty much just any... I mean, really what this is for is salary cap or, you know, any kind of budget team that you're trying to go up against, like... Guys, these are 80 overall players with 93, 92 speed, great jump, great height. Um, obviously, you go up against a 98 overall, they're probably not going to perform too insane. I mean, they might get a couple pretty crazy plays off. But guys, really, if you're looking to compete up against other people in salary cap, 
or like I said, you're just trying to build a budget team, you don't have a whole lot of coins, these are the guys to go with. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead, click that subscribe button, click the bell. We're going to have more videos coming up later this week. I hope to get a lot more um, consistent in this and just pretty much spend a lot more time making these videos and showing you guys the budget people that you can go out, buy, and play for a very cheap price. Thanks again, guys. See you later.